AK Geeks. Hey everybody, welcome to AKA Geeks and this unboxing I'm about to do right now. Uh, I'm your host, Sean. I'm sure Lynn is gonna get you one of these unboxings as soon as as soon as he, he can. Um, as soon as uh, Senior Matthew uh, gets out of the way, I guess you could say. Uh, more on that later. So, um, I just got home from Disneyland. Been there all weekend, having a good time. But I got my message that my package was delivered. <laughs> and, uh, it's a big one. Look at this. Look at this. How big this is compared to me. So let's uh, let's open this bad boy up. Uh, as most of you know, considering what date it is, I got this message on uh, Friday. So uh, most of you can most of you know what this package is. All right. So there's boxes inside of boxes. There's paper, and here is another box, which this is not gonna be easy. All right. Let's see. Alright, there we go. Alright. And as you can tell, there's like there's some writing right there. Gears of War 4 Collector's Edition. Alright, let's uh, cut this down. So how's everybody's day, weekend going? Has anybody uh, jumped into this yet? I know one of my friends, one of my buddies who uh, he plays a lot of Gears of War, pretty much the only thing he plays. Um is, was playing this on uh, Thursday night, Friday night, right before, uh, right about midnight. He was jumped on there already. As I was going to Disneyland, I saw that he was on there. Um, he was wondering why I got this edition. It was like, because I like Gears of War. I like it a lot. And uh, I wanted it, so I got it. Let's see if I get this box out of this box. I think this is like a record of how many boxes can be in a box. It's like the Russian nesting doll of freaking boxes. <laughs> oh my gosh. It came in a clear plastic bag and um, it went on the, for the second box it had a nice piece of cardboard to stop from cutting into this box. But here it is you guys. Look at that. You got JD right there holding the Lancer. Pretty cool, pretty cool. You got your uh, mat with the glossy Gears of War 4. You can see that right there. And then on the outside of this, on this back side, it gives you a nice illustration of what you're getting. Uh, you get a frag grenade keychain. Actually, actually, that's pretty cool. You get a lithograph and exclusive Gears of War 4, 11 inch JD statue. And uh, I got the one where he's wearing like the casual stuff. Uh, he still has his co the cog armor on there. All right, so let's get this top slid off. Oh, there's more. There's more. Okay. You got the gear. <laughs> there's Gears of War, traditional logo. And here is another one. I'm just knocking everything over. This is so damn big. <laughs> That's what she said. All right, here we go. Okay. Uh, warning. Uh, for Geely, remove product careful carefully uh, and then on this side it uh, essentially it tells me how to uh, put in the batteries I didn't know there was gonna be batteries for it I guess it's gonna light up and make sounds the JD uh, statue so that's cool uh, first off right here guys Gears of War 4 looking for uh, looking forward to this for quite a while now you have the still book case let's open this bad boy up okay got that bad boy opened Let's see what we got here inside the steel bookcase. Let's get you a little a nice panoramic view. There we go. Nice. I like it. I like it a lot. And on the inside, uh, a picture of JD and his buddies right here as well as the game. Uh, and all these other things which I'm not going to show you because I don't want to risk getting, letting go, get, getting some picked up from my video. Uh, you got some stickers here. They always usually, as far as I can remember, give you stickers in the packaging of your Gears games. So there's that. I got the Xbox One edition, not the uh, PlayStation. I'm just joking, you guys. I'm just joking. I know it's only on Xbox One. I thought that'd be funny. Uh, and Oh, I got a gear pack. Nice. I gotta download that stuff 
later. I'm gonna put that to the side for now. Put that to the side. Okay, plastic be gone. All right, more cutting to do, but let's uh, actually, before we cut, let's get this out. There we go. You know what's cool about the styrofoam? The styrofoam actually says Gears of War on it. I don't know if you can see the indentation of it. It says Gears of War on there. Gears of War 4. Awesome. Remember kids, always cut away from your body. Uh, I'm not exactly entirely cutting away from my body. I'm kind of going towards my crotch. So if, uh, don't, uh, don't do as I, what's the, what's the same? Do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, cut away from your body. Knives, scissors, whatever you're using, box cutters. They can be very dangerous if not um, dealt with in the right way. All right, let's do the lithographs first. We have the tape undone though. This has to be the lithographs. With the graph. All right, it's a nice black matte envelope. And you have the nice, nice lithograph right here. Coalition on the bottom. Gears of War 4 right over here. I like it. I'm assuming they've shown it in the trailer and now you have a figurine and a, lithi and a lithograph that you're riding bikes. So I'm assuming it's gonna happen in the game and it might be one of their, uh, one of the parts in the game where they're really happy about it or uh, really look, they're really trying to push that. All right, let's open this bad boy up. Ooh, man, oh man. All right, so it's here and this thing is pretty damn big. Okay, all right. Um, here is the, the statue. Uh, let's, let's get this going. Oh man, this thing has some really good weight to it. I like that. So here we go. You got JD. Ah! Hit the camera. <laughs> Interaction with you guys. JD riding the bike. Um, really cool. The bike looks believable in the sense that it, it looks like it could be from this world of Gears of War. Um, but it also looks like it's legitimate. Like it, you could probably you could make one of these today here in our world. Um, it, God, this thing has some real weight to it. Um, I really like the Gears of War 3, uh, Gears of War 3 Marcus statue, but it doesn't have that weight to it, you know? It's just something about it. And here, in a little box in there, they gave me the, uh, the keychain for the frag grenade, the frag grenade keychain. It's actually quite, I mean, Let's, let's show you a, uh, a, a how long, give or take. From pinky past my thumb, you're talking, I don't know, a good distance. Uh, so it's pretty cool. Uh, I thought it was gonna, this would be really cool to like put on my actual personal keychain. But now that I'm looking at it, I don't think this will work out. This is gonna be more of a collection piece kind of thing. So I uh, still like it a lot though. Again though, uh, you guys, this is the, 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 the main thing you're here for. The main thing that you are here for. Um, really love it. I can't wait to figure out where I'm gonna put this damn thing. Um, but that's it for today, guys. Uh, let me know if you guys picked up your Gears of War 4 Collector's Edition. Let me know if you've been playing already. If you have been playing, you know, jump on our Facebook page and let us know. We'd love to play some with play some horde with you guys and uh, also multiplayer and also do some campaign. We definitely would enjoy that. Uh, but that's it for this video. You guys remember to click the like, share, subscribe buttons down below. Leave your comments, questions, suggestions in the comment section. Let me know uh, whatever your thoughts are about this unboxing and everything Gears of War 4. Let's have a great conversation, you guys. I'll see you next time. Peace. Okay, geeks.